In this video, I will show you how to proper model this wooden bench using FreeCAD. First we need to study how the bench is made. It's composed of three parts, the legs, the sit and the spacers. The legs are a stack of plank with a section of 27 mm by 100 mm and a length of 350 mm. The sits are a stack of plank with the same section and a longer of 1000 mm. The support are square plank with the same section and a length of 100 mm. Before starting to model the bench, we will create a spreadsheet and enter some variables. For each value, we will enter an alias that we will use as dimensions when modeling the sketches. As alias, we choose the first letters of each variable like LW for leg width, LT for leg thickness, etc. Now, we switch to the part design workbench. We will create a new body and a new sketch on the top plane, XY plan. In the sketch workbench we will choose the centered rectangular and add the dimensions for the section of the leg. So in our case we'll enter the spreadsheet value of LW for the leg width and LTH for the leg thickness. Once the sketch is fully constrained, we can exit the sketch. We will click the pad operation to create an extrusion. We enter the value of the spreadsheet for the length of the leg which will be LL. Once the pad is finished, we will rename the body by pressing the F2 key. We will call it leg. In the data panel, we will turn on true of the option allow compound. This option allow us to create multiple solids in one part. We will save the file and name it Woodbench. Now, with the pad selected, we will click on the linear pattern to create an array. We keep the direction of the array in base X. We enter the value of the spacing which will be the thickness of the leg plus the thickness of the spacer so LTH plus STH. The number of the occurrence will be the value of the spreadsheet of LN. Now we will repeat the same process for making the sit and the spacer. We will speed up the process because it's exactly the same as the leg. We will add a chamfer on the sit plank, by selecting the desired egg and click on the chamfer icon. We will enter the dimension of the spreadsheet SC. We can now create an assembly with our bodies. We will use the new assembly bench which come natively with FreeCAD 1.0. So we click on the icon to create an assembly. We chose the leg as the fixed part of our assembly. We click two times to add two legs, one time for the sit and four times for the spacers. Now, we will constraint our assembly by click on the joint icon and selecting the points where we want to put our part. There is a little gizmo which indicates the direction on the contractant. But sure to align the blue axis in the same direction. We can adjust eventually the rotation of the part.
Once the assembly is fully constrained, no parts can move freely. The bench is fully parametric, you can adjust the value of each part. It will automatically change the 3D model. That marks the end of the video. If you're willing, we can make another video about the TechDraw workbench and making a drawing of the bench with annotations and a parts list. Feel free to ask in the comments section. Thanks for your attention.